Hey guys, it's Mike. I just thought I'd uh, do a little painting with you today. Um, been working on this gorgeous creature here. I'll let you get a decent view there. Gorgeous eagle. Now, per my usual of late, I'm using and I'm kind of preferring to use at this point for a lot of my main colors. I'm trying to get the angle just right. It's this new stand and also excuse me while I fiddle with it but I've been using culture hustle for a lot of stuff for a while now and I'm really really digging it I really enjoy the flow of these of these paints it's amazing how they make such bottles like this you know so just your standard bottles and even smaller ones like the ones that I love using for this eagle here which we will be using today, the metals pack, the heavy metal pack. I'm using a lot of the copper, the gold, and silver, and I'm using the black gold, which is kind of a gun metal. It's really, really, I love it, I really do. Um, I wanna figure out some new ways to do stuff with it. But that's what we're gonna be using today are those and just some other Culture Hustle uh, paints and whatnot. And I might break into, I picked up from Golden some very nice natural colors like some Burnt Umber um, High Flow. I wanted some something with some real flow to it for what I'm doing. Um, and it's one thing I've learned because I'm not like formally trained as anybody knows. I just, uh, it's been a lifetime of just loving art like most everybody else. And I've really discovered, you know, the, the physics behind painting, and I, I love the discovery every day. I, I learn new brush strokes, new techniques, and the flow, the viscosity, I guess, the, the overall flow of the paint has a lot to do with how it sets on the canvas, and a lot of people, they, they don't think of it that way until after. They, they don't think about how the paint is actually going to soak into the canvas. And I've really learned that the hard way through trial and error, which is why I am just absolutely loving how this big bird is coming along. And I really can't wait to see the finished product. Now for the black background, this isn't done yet. This isn't done. This is actually my base. This is using black gesso for the base to set it on. Now I'm still kind of working out the imagery in my head what i want to do for the background and right now my focus is solely on the bird itself i've got some correcting to do on the talons yet i've got to definitely fix those because they kind of look like they got shoehorned into shot glasses and broken up and just mangled basically they look janky okay <clears throat> now i plan on for the shading through here where you see a lot of the shading um, I know it can be kind of tricky in this light because of the gold and the bits of silver, but there for the pencil that I have in here from the sketch for the shading, I am going to use more of the black gold, but I will also use hints of the silver for the lightning and a little bit of the copper as well. The copper adds a very nice tone it just looks beautiful. These paints, I swear, it's like they managed to melt these metals and turn them into paint. It is honest, Stuart Semple, you're the man. You know, these paints, seriously, you're a rock star. I love this stuff. And when you see what I'm doing with this, man, you'll see why I love these paints. And I love the fact that they're helping me get better at my craft. This time last year, I was struggling to come up with things like this and now this is proof the more you do these things the better you will get at them so never give up don't ever 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 give up on yourself because as hard as it may be you have to understand that you got to go through some hard times you got to it's just like in life there's going to be times you're going to doubt yourself there's going to be times you're just going to want to drop everything you give up and you could go for a long period of time without picking up a brush, a pencil, a pen, a marker, whatever it is you do. 
but you've got to, just like in life, you've got to get back up. You can't stay down. You can't give up on yourself. And that's why I'm getting better. And I'm so proud of how these things are coming along. And I'm just, it, it's honestly, without the support of you guys, and most of all, without the support of my wife, my family, my friends, oh, I never would be able to do this. This is my therapy. I love this. This is what helps me deal with this. And I really hope that you guys enjoy the ride I'm going to take you on. So, <clears throat> you'll excuse me if I ramble a little bit here and there. It's just, you know, I'm kind of here by myself out in the garage. And it's just me and you talking to each other. So, I think we should start with some of the black gold. I'm th Actually, no, we're going to go with the copper. Yeah, the copper really, I think, would be perfect for this. Now, always give it a little shake. Make sure the pigments are all stirred up nice and everything. It doesn't take much. This stuff, it flows like water. It's beautiful. Absolutely. I love, I cannot say enough about this paint. I honestly cannot. I am in love with this paint. And now, here, I'll let you see what I mean. Look at that. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. Now, I'm going to just kind of focus here and there on areas that catch my eye. That's kind of how I operate. It's I go where I feel the brush needs to go. And right now, the brush tells me I need to go here. And so, I took it for a trip. I brought it where it wanted to go. Now, while I'm brushing, I'm keeping in mind that this is a feather and I want it to look a certain way. And the problem is, well, I'm a dingbat and I don't know what that way is going to be just yet. So I have to kind of be willing to go over things that I don't like. Now, there are parts of this that when you see in person or up close when it's done, there are parts that will blend in so well you can't tell where they begin and end because these paints they blend and mingle with each other that amazingly the metals do especially just absolutely beautifully the potion pack is another one by culture hustle i've used quite a bit of lately and honestly the and this is not a paid ad or anything anybody who knows me knows i wish i could get a guy like that to sponsor me <laughs> yeah I don't have, yeah, I'm no, nowhere near that good. <laughs> but I just absolutely, I love these paints. There's just something about them. I've been using a lot of paints for a while now, a lot of different styles. I'm constantly on the search for the next cool thing. I'm that kind of artist. And that's something, guys, let me tell you, when you finally come to terms with the fact that you are an artist, that you can create and you admit it to yourself and you say yeah I am worth giving a shot because you've made your first sale or you've gotten that much praise and you've done that one amazing piece that just blows you away listen to your gut on that one don't listen don't listen to your head your head's gonna tell you how much you suck your head is gonna be dumb I know because mine is don't doubt yourself because when you finally come to terms with your artistic ability and you admit that you can create and you stop being your own worst critic or don't because honestly in my case it is what helps me <laughs> you know it, it's this weird psychosis I have but it's very freeing it really is it's honestly very very freeing now we're just going to do a little more blending and then I'm just going to ramble and I'll probably do a little fast forwarding here and there and edit and all just because this is going to be a while. This is a big bird. In fact, it's probably going to be a couple of videos, maybe a few, depending on how big I decide to go with this because the jury is still out on that one. But I just hope that you guys, whoever 
is watching this or whoever does watch this. I really hope that you enjoy what it is that I'm doing here and enjoy the ride I'm taking you on. I'm going to try and give you as good a view as I can of what I'm doing, okay? So that way you can see the magic as it happens, because it really is. I love this. It's like watching a magician work, even to me, because you just see something appear out of nowhere or just disappear, depending on what you're doing, because I even do that sometimes, where I'll see something I don't like, and I make it disappear. I'm like a mafia cleaner that way. <laughs> but seriously, guys, I just hope that you guys, really, I do, I hope you enjoy everything I put out there. I know it's not as good as some of the others, you know, like Ray Drizzle, and she's one of my favorites. I absolutely love Ray. If you get the chance, check out Ray Drizzle. Um, she's really good. Uh, there's honestly just so many artists I admire on YouTube and on the world. I really admire these people and their skill. They can be really amazing. Nerd Forge, I love you guys. You're awesome. You know, but I am just thankful that people enjoy what it is I do. I am most thankful for that. Now, I am going to consider this a fast forward point, okay? The reason being, and I don't mean like fast forward, I mean time lapse, you know, like speed it up. Because I'm going to take out the sound and add in something else entirely because frankly I need to listen to some music and you guys probably do too because sitting there this whole time just watching me do this listening to me talk can get pretty tedious I'm sure so
Thank <laughs> you.